Thank you and uh, congratulations to everybody. What a great job, 2.2 million and uh, it's a wonderful day. But when I was asked and, and, and it's indeed an honor to, and a privilege to have the opportunity to be the ambassador for such a great event, I try to refre reflect a little bit on my life and I'll share some of those experiences with you that uh, might make a difference in your life. First of all, as a kid growing up, like many of you, I played road hockey and, and I loved it. And I couldn't wait to get out and play road hockey, but believe it or not, Montreal Canadiens were my favorite team and Jean Beliveau was my childhood hero. So, 1970, I was very fortunate, drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs, first round pick, excited. Excited to come to training camp and uh, it, it, we mentioned some of the things I was fortunate to do. So I played 15 years in National Hockey League. 1985 I retired. 1989 I was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, which is a great honor, but thank you. But through my induction and my after years of hockey, I was very fortunate to spend some time with uh, Jean Beliveau. And I got to know him. I admired him, as you said, as a player and as a kid. And, uh, and I reflected on uh, some of the things that we did throughout our career. So my wife gets diagnosed with colon cancer at age 50. And while she was going through that battle, obviously it was a difficult time. I'm sure many of you here have experienced what I experienced in having somebody close to you die of colon cancer. But the morning of her funeral uh, at my home, I get a telephone call. And it's Daryl, it's Mr. John Bellable. I'd just like to... Uh, Think, tell you I'm thinking about you and know, that we're with your family today. So I reflect on here I am a childhood kid, my idol, get to play against him in the Montreal Forum in 1970 and then to, to have him call me the day of my, my wife's funeral was very touching. But shortly after that, at that period of time, the Leafs had phoned me and they wanted to honor me by putting my jersey in the rafter along with Frank Mahovlich. And it was going to be the first game of the season, the 75th anniversary of the, 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 uh, the Leaf organization. And I told the management that Wendy had been very ill and sick and that we might not be able to do it. But so happened that event was on October the 3rd. Wendy died on October the 6th, so I did not do uh, the, uh, the uh, honored uh, ceremony that night. And they gave me the opportunity to pick when I was ready emotionally to do it. And I looked at the schedule, it was about a year and a half later, the Montreal Canadiens were playing the Leafs on a Saturday night, coast to coast hockey night in Canada game. And I picked that February 8th evening and before the banner went up, I asked the Leaf management if they would consider putting Wendy's name on the banner, which they accepted. So that evening, as many of you probably watched, was a very emotional night and a very emotional evening for me. But the reason I wanted Wendy's name on that, because she went through this, you know, my career, she was very ins inspirational and, 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 and influenced in me and in my success, but I wanted her to be recognized for what she went through and, and losing her life to cancer. So as I'm here today with all of you, I know we're going to sign the back. It's kind of neat to say that I've got Wendy's name on the back of my jersey, just as your name on the Air Canada Center jersey. for attending, all the sponsors, all the volunteers. It takes the whole team, it takes a great effort to make something like this a success. I'm pleased to be a part of it. I'm playing in a couple games I played this morning, and when I'm out there, I'm pretending I'm John Bellable. So thank you very much.